Afternoon folks, it's your guy Rashad back here at Action Sports Bar and Grill with another day in the life of a food truck owner, restaurant owner, bar owner. Uh, food truck front today. This was our Westlake Park service. Westlake Park is right downtown Seattle, like right downtown Seattle. If you come up Everybody knows Pike Place Market with the fish market and throwing the fish and all that. If you come up a couple of blocks, it is, uh, I guess, to the east, it is, you'll basically run into Westlake Park. It's in the middle of a commercial district, right in the heart of downtown. Really cool energy. Um, it's always buzzing and, and hustling. Um, so anytime for us, we get a chance to... Uh, take unique opportunities like this we try to take them during the summertime they do um they call it a uh food truck rodeo so they get together like four to six food trucks and then place them in this park which is a lot of pedestrian traffic because <clears throat> uh, it's right next to a mall as well and like it's right next to everything next to a transit center next to kind of everything down there <clears throat> so they do this food truck rodeo invite out four to six trucks and they advertise it and then the city kind of gets behind it a little bit and so it was a unique opportunity so we had to jump on it it's a short little video but uh it just talks about really what it's about is the different type of services you can run into as a food truck operator you can always do the reliable breweries and <clears throat> outside of um, drinking establishments that's tried and true. You can always do, you can do pods or be a single location at a gas station or a certain intersection. Um, that works too. But when you have something that is kind of other people are spending marketing dollars on it and other people are spending money to hype it up, sometimes it's nice to just slide right in there. <clears throat> it didn't cost us very much either. So those are the kind of opportunities we're really about. Uh, this video, like all of our videos, appreciate you uh, checking it out. And, and if you do like it, let us know. Give us the like. Stop by the channel. Subscribe. Check us out on the socials. Check the food truck out when it's in your neighborhood or you see it's close by. Or just stop in the bar if you're around. I appreciate it. So this event was in downtown Seattle. Our commissary kitchen and restaurant is located in Kent, Washington, which is like... No traffic from downtown Seattle, 40 minutes away, 35 minutes away with like zero traffic. Any other traffic, any other complications, you're looking at pretty much an hour to get down there. And on the way home, sometimes it's even worse because it'd be like that southbound traffic coming out of the city is, is stupid too. So um, the travel time on it, is at least two hours total for the day to do an event like that. And that's a lot of time to be burning up of your day. So you have to gauge whether or not these longer travel time uh, locations are gonna be worth it for you. If you're trying to squeeze two services in a day, then two hours worth of travel time is probably gonna be too much for you to do a double service. Unless one's breakfast and the other one's dinner, you know. But trying to squeeze a lunch and a dinner service in in that kind of travel window is going to be real, real, real tough. So all of that brings me to really what my pro tip is when it comes to scheduling your food truck. Is you have to decide what the value of that particular location is. Sometimes that has to matter more than the actual dollar amount that you make. So, for example, this uh, food truck roundup hyped by the city, <clears throat> our first time down there, plenty of other trucks where we weren't competing. Our concept wasn't really in competition with Venezuelan and uh, Mexican food and Thai food. You know, we have a different lane. And so uh, there was enough customers for everybody there. So just with that as a background, our sales there were pretty much on par with what we would do at the community college, which is like 10 minutes 
from our commissary kitchen where the total travel time is like 20 minutes for the whole day <clears throat> and the sales are about the same. So that's a very high value location, our, our close location here that's near the college, that is at the college and near the commissary. Whereas the op what we liked about the downtown Seattle and the reason why we did it and have done multiple and we'll go back for more this season is because uh, we value it more than just the dollar amount that's there. So everybody's different and everybody's gonna weight the um, opportunities and the locations differently for them. But I'm just saying the pro tip is find a scale and a value system that works for you. So then when in these tough situations, <clears throat> you know what's, what, what is gonna serve you best. If I have a really, really heavy month where we're like, we've got, you know, 14, 16 services. If an opportunity pops up to do something like Westlake, I know in that climate, I can't put that on my team and expect to have flawless services because even though the money would be about the same, uh, the amount of effort that goes into that, that service is just more. Um, so you have to kind of just gauge accordingly. Sometimes you need the little layup services that require less, you know, overall work for you than um, trying to go for these big home runs where you get tons of exposure and might wind up on the news or might have a story come out of it or might have a bunch of followers come out of it, but it's a ton of work for you and your team. So. Uh, that's just my little two cents, man. Figure out what is for you so then when you are judging um, opportunities side by side, you have your own, you know, internal value system for which one is it is is worth it. So here we go, y'all. This is the action food truck serving down at Westlake Park for a little food truck lunch. Hope you all enjoy the video. We'll see you on the next one. The nice thing about events like this for me is the exposure aspect of it. You know, we're South King County food truck. Our restaurant is 40 minutes, like I said, from downtown Seattle. So for a lot of those folks, they have never been to our little bar, our little neighborhood dive bar. 
and they probably haven't seen our truck um, outside of the city. So for us to get the exposure of downtown Seattle, then we have to go down there and do Westlake Park. We have to go down there and, and do um, Seahawk games. We have to go down there and do Starbucks and, uh, you know, Lumen Field and you, corporate centers that are in downtown Seattle. We don't want it to be a shock when we go and do stuff like Taylor Swift or uh, another outdoor concert venue we want people to have been like hey we've seen this truck somewhere before seattle is too big of a market to not uh, have some presence out there so for us the value on this service and taking so many of these westlake services as we have is it just gives our truck a chance to be downtown and in front of people who are downtown it's shocking and amazing that no matter how far we go when someone we've run into somebody at our truck who knows exactly where we are in kent like they they live in kent or their mom lives in kent and so uh what it has shown me over and over again is that that's how you make the connection to your bar in your food truck is you take the food truck out and you let it contact people in you know, it's shocking how small the world is that someone will identify, oh, you guys are in Kent? Oh, man, I know such and such out in Kent. Oh, what part of Kent? So it just cracks me up because we can be kind of anywhere as far as, you know, our radius takes us with our permitting. Um, and we've run into people who are like, yeah, man, I'm, I know exactly where that is. Right, right across from my high school. It's like, yeah, that's us. So these type of events give us a chance to do that. That's how we wound up, uh, you know, connecting with the local news to do our broadcasts in the morning. And that, you know, put a couple of thousand eyes, uh, sets of eyes on our, our brand. And so that was the, those continue to be the benefits of some of these kind of difficult, but, you know, worthwhile events in the city so, you know the other nice thing about these kind of events is practice makes better we're still a new truck uh you know we probably done 100 maybe 125 services so uh we are still very new in my estimation even though this is what we have been doing in the industry and even though we have been of service and and our cooks have been cooking forever in the entity as the food truck it's still new for us so these events give us an opportunity to get reps reps is what is the master maker right there you know it, it, practice makes better and the more reps we take the easier it becomes for us and the better we get at it so uh i'm here for it and uh it has to be part of your mindset, I think, going into it, especially as you start to get better with something like this YouTube stuff, for example. This isn't really my thing, right? But uh, the way that you get better with it is the way you get better with anything. You just do it. You just do it more and more and more and more. And, you know, hopefully the product gets a little bit better each time. Uh, your process gets a little bit better each time. Um, so that is the exact same kind of mindset we're going into this food truck thing. When we take these events downtown Seattle and we have all these news, new eyes on us, it gives us the opportunity to, you know, try to perform in a different environment. People are on 30 minute lunch breaks for this one. This is, it has a different vibe to it. People are like, it's not, people aren't waiting around for 15, 20 minutes <laughs> for their food here. It's like, bang, bang, let me get the hell out of here. Um, having to deal with the different energy that, and all of the stuff that's going on around you, it's just, uh, you got a lot of variables. And so I think it's just a good opportunity to get better at what we're doing.